We continue to explain the 1945 World Series and the curse of the Billy Goat. Game 1 opened in Detroit with the Cubs' ace weapon, 22-game winner Hank Bowery, who ended up versus 25-game winner Hal Neuhauser of the Tigers. The Cubs came for revenge for 1935 with a 9-0 shutout. They had a four-run first inning, and Bill Nicholson hit a single, a triple, and three RBIs. Andy Pafko hit two RBIs, doubling, singling, stealing, and scoring, and Phil Cavaretta singled, scored, and hit a home run. Bowery pitched the complete game. The Cubs walked away from that game feeling that momentum was definitely on their side. Game two, the Tigers put in Virgil Trucks, fresh from serving in the Navy, versus Hank Wise. Game two became the Trucks and Greenberg show. They had both come back from the war at the end of the season, just in time to help the Tigers win the pennant, with Greenberg getting a grand slam in the ninth inning of the winning game. In this game, Truck pitched a seven-hitter 4-1 win, three runs of which came from a three-run home run by Greenberg in the fifth, after an RBI single by Doc Kramer. Game 3 saw Cubs pitchers Passo pitch a one-hitter 3-0 shutout against Stubby Overmeyer, becoming one of a handful of pitchers to pitch a one-hitter in the World Series. Up 2-0 in that game, Mickey Livingston hit a double, moved a third on a ground out, and scored on Claude Passo's sacrifice fly. Game 4 moved to Wrigley in Chicago. The Cubs would lose 4-1 thanks to a four-run fourth by the Tigers, which took Ray Prim from the game and left it in the hands of Derringer. Dizzy Trout for the Tigers would pitch the entire game. But the fans had a different rationale for why the Cubs lost that day, one in particular named William Sienis. Sienis was the owner of the Billy Goat Tavern, and he was either removed from Wrigley because of the smell of his goat, or stopped at the gate and made to leave the goat outside. Whatever happened, the curse was born. After the game, Sienis told Chicago or the Wrigley family that the Cubs would never win the World Series again, and that statement held true until 2016. And to prove it in the fans' minds, in Game 5, Bowery was outpitched by Neuhauser. Five pitchers were used for the Cubs that day, but the Tigers still won 8-4. In Game 6, the Cubs scored four in the fifth against Trucks, followed by two more by the eighth. The Tigers, though, rallied back, tying in the eighth with Hank Greenberg. Both teams used up almost all of their pitching staff into the 12th inning, the Cubs calling back up Bowery and then winning on a walk-off double by Hack that bounced over Greenberg and scored Schuster, tying the World Series. In Game 7, Grimm made a choice to bring Bowery back for a third game, and the Tigers hammered him with singles. He was removed after the first three batters, and it became a five-run first. <laughs> Newhauser pitched the full 9-3 victory with 10 strikeouts. The Tigers won. 